Hi. I had a couple of my mods and kept wondering is what would be the easiest way to do commands to help them learn the basics. And so I'm going to show you a couple basic slash commands that will probably be the ones that my mods are going to be using. There's a lot more than just a few. It turns out if you take your time to go through the system, but we're going to keep it simple for the mods um, because they'll make it easier. So let's do that. Well, first of all, I was experimenting beforehand with some other ideas. So let's start with the most basic one. How do you use the slash commands to do the basics? So we'll do that. If you don't know the name of the command, but you have an idea what it does, you could do slash T for timeout. And you see that you could set a timeout value. Like I did an example here earlier with a viewer. Let's see, just type in timeout. T-I-M-E-O-U-T. Hit the at sign. This is for the desktop now. And if you have multiple people, and we only have two, we have Microsoft and Botrix. Well, we're going to select with Botrix or Microsoft. So I click Microsoft, I just clicked on it. And now I got his name in there, and I can then say, pretty amount of time. For example, I could say, time amount for 30 minutes. These are tools on it anyway. So now, Bot Microsoft has been timed up for 30 minutes. So for 30 minutes, he can't type nothing. He can't say anything to the audience at all. Okay? Also, another command that we'll be using occasionally is the ban command. So I type B-A-N space... And I can hit, again, the Microsoft Act command. And likewise, I can do the same thing with Microsoft. I can ban him. I can ban him or unban him. So if I just typed in Microsoft, I can unban and ban. Just type in that and then just hit enter. And then he'll be banned because the format is ban username and the reason. So that means that I can forever or until I unban him, which is this command, which right now no one's banned. Oh, I'm just going to ban him anyway, so I'll show you the unban command. So let's do that. Okay. So now Microsoft has been banned. But let's say you made a mistake. Oops. I want to unban him. I right? just type in slash u unban space at again and Click on it, and now the person's been unbanned, okay? There is more commands, but there's also an easier tool, which I want to show you. If you go to your settings screen below, you see, you can see the muted views and banned viewers pop-out chat. But in this case, notice the option that says, um... Show mod quick actions. Turn it on. And then, above here now, you see we have options to do things. Which looks like this is a delete command. Um, yeah, let's try to get this thing if it shows on top of the help features. Okay, so you can do things like, if you understand the codes, you can now type in the codes to do things. Again, I don't know anything about these codes mean, so you're going to you're gonna play around with this. Um, but like I said, you can ban someone, you can unban them, you can delete a message, um, you can do other quick short commands, but can you do something when you click on their names? Let me ask them about that. The answer is, yes, you can ban him. Say so that's what the slash means. Time out. There you go. Perfect. So right now he's technically Microsoft 99 has been banned so many times by me for a reason. You can delete the comment. So that's what the shortcut means. Because I didn't know what it meant. This is the time out. This is the ban. To access that menu, just go to the gear and make sure to enable... Show mod quick actions. Okay. 
So that should make things easier. I'm going to unban Microsoft because I'm using him as a test account. So slash U-N-B-A-N at... And you can see he's on the account up there. Hit the tab key. Punch enter. So what if the person originally was not unbanned already? Well, if the account was already unbanned, then it would just simply say is, um, you know... So if, if, say, say it was a mod that realized that didn't think that I unbanned somebody. I can just type in unban at hit micro tab from Microsoft. And it's probably going to either A, say nothing, or it's going to say, in this case, it doesn't say anything. But anyway, the point is, is that you know the person is now unbanned. Okay. Um... It's I liked with the feature of follow only chat. Okay, what that means is just good sounds like slash just more for mods, but F O L L or just F L L you can see there's the thing called follow only on off. Enables followers only mode for chat. So just just like the YouTube subscribers only mode. Which means that if a person follows you, they can chat with you. I don't think there's any time limit. You could say you gotta be some, a follower for say ten minutes or something like that. It'd be nice as with the future, but I don't think they have that. But let's let's try to see if they do. So I'm gonna type in follow only on because it is on follow only on. 20. Follow only on 20. 20. Not 29. We can have 29, I guess. Too many arguments. So, you can't send a certain number of minutes. So, you could just say follow only on. So, F O L L O W O N L Y on. And what that means is followers only mode men. Enabled. Now, I can't do subscriptions yet. So, but if I had subscriptions, which is members only, just like with YouTube, I could set subscription members only on, so the only subscribers can actually chat. Uh, at this point, I don't have enough people to get affiliate to get subscribers. But that's the simple easy way of doing this. Um, and then there are some other commands. You can actually get a list. Like I said, you could just do a slash. And then, of course, they don't have a question mark, but if you type a letter, what if it's a number? Oh, they don't exist. But we know letters, so the first a slash the first letter will pull up the command. So for people basic everyday worker, you will just go ahead and go to your settings. Again, like I said earlier, now I understand the code, so let's explain to you. Go to settings, turn on show mod quick actions. Is that did already? And you have options to delete a comment. I hate to use your bot tricks for this test, but Bye. <laughs> okay, so Botrix's command has been deleted. Okay. And I can un I, I don't know if I can undelete them, but maybe I can. I don't know if I have an undelete command. Um reply pen. Oh I can pen. Cool. So let's do that. Let's try the pen command. So let's pin this message. And just like with YouTube, message pinned, which means it's on the top of the screen. You can unpin it, you can delete it. And um, also the other command is you can time out. That's that button there. If you click time out, for example, on, uh, for example, oh, let's pull up this. Let's torture Microsoft a little bit. So, we'll do the same thing. Let's unban Microsoft again. 
Okay, so hit slash U N B A N at, and I can see there's only guy in there, so I hit tab, enter, he's unbanned. Now I can torture, now I can torture Microsoft a little bit. So, um, I can go back in, again, I can delete his comment, I can set a timeout, I can ban him again, let's just set the timeout. So, when you timeout, I just did, timed up a kill or Microsoft for five minutes, so by default it's five minutes. So, basically at this point, the point is, is that the simple commands do basic things, uh, and that's what you do. So, turn on the, go into the, click on the gear, so turn on the, the mod tools, tick, switch, and then you can see those little shortcuts. Also, you can enable the date and time stamps, which you saw on the screen. And it might be valuable, too, if you ever want to make sure... Um, but if you have followers only mode on, remember that non-followers are not going to be able to comment. So make sure to enable followers only mode. Okay. And, uh, also we can enable pin messages. And there's, there's mod commands also for the channel operator, like changing the titles, changing categories, which is a good idea. Um, like Silver Moon Radio, I could change the title on the fly. Say Silver Moon Radio AM 1610. I could say change it to live streams, whatever. So that's the basic everyday commands. And I hope that for, you, for the kick mods, any kick mods, this will be useful for you for wherever you are, whatever channel you're running. And I appreciate watching this short tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.